There are many forms of wheelies in GTA Online. You can do a standard wheelie, you can do a wheelie and then add some nitrous, you can do an unlimited wheelie, and you can do a rolling wheelie. There's so many different options and I'm going to show you how to do them all in this video. Now, how to do a generic wheelie. A wheelie is different amongst nearly every muscle car in the game. A lot do act alike though. And this is one that I'll show you that is the basic situation for most muscle cars. Now, the first thing you want to do is fully hold handbrake and acceleration all the way in. And then when you're ready to go, you're going to let go of handbrake and acceleration. But when you let go of acceleration, it's going to go to around 50%. So I let go of handbrake, acceleration 50%. Then once you see your car lift off from the front, then you're going to go full acceleration. The general principle with muscle cars is if you've actually got a lot of power in the certain muscle car and you'll see it lift off aggressively in the wheelie, that means you want to put less throttle in. Instead of lifting your acceleration to 50%, you might want to go all the way back to 20%. And in some cases, you might want to take longer than half a second on that certain throttle input. Now this one is how to do an unlimited wheelie. Now this only does work with the Arbiter HSW version. So I'm sorry for people on previous gen, but this only works in current gen. Now the Arbiter, it has a crazy speed, so it's able to do this. The amount of power it has allows this car to just wheelie forever. And that's why it's also one of my favorite cars in the game. You need to have the Arbiter, even if you're not that much into muscle cars. Just like most of the wheelies on this list, all you have to use is the right bumper and right trigger button. Now hold handbrake as normal. You want to fully accelerate in to activate the wheelie when you let go of our handbrake. But as soon as you let go of your handbrake, you want to pull up the throttle so your throttle is only about 60% in. This does not have to be accurate. The Arbiter is really good at initiating a wheelie even if you kind of get it wrong. So full acceleration, full handbrake. When you let go of handbrake, let the acceleration go to around 40 to 60% for half a second. Once that half second's up, full acceleration again. Now, this one actually doesn't need to be that accurate. The Arbiter is really good at wheeling. And you just hold acceleration all the way. You will see the Arbiter sway left to right a bit and make, make it look like it's about to go off course, which sometimes it does. But generally, it will stay straight, generally. And that's it. It will keep wheeling unless it like hits a bump or hits a certain part of the tarmac. Doing a double, triple, quadruple wheelie, it's stupid to do, but this is how. So I'll end up looking like a low rider. If you just do the same thing where you fully accelerate and handbrake and then you let go and the car wheelies, just let go of the throttle. As soon as the front wheels hit the floor again, just accelerate again and then do the same thing. Let off the throttle and then fully accelerate and then let it off. It's stupid to do. And yeah, that's why I'm not spending much time on it. <laughs> you do it if you want. Now, how to do a wheelie using a wheelie bar? You're probably thinking, hello, why are you showing us this? It's self-explanatory, a wheelie bar. Well, in GTA, you're not supposed to use a wheelie bar to stabilize your wheelie. You're supposed to use it for a safety, like just in case you go over a certain threshold in a wheelie, just like real life. And the Vama's probably been the worst car to use because it's actually really good using a wheelie bar. But most cars, they just stutter. They wheel spin whilst they wheelie. You know, the wheelie bar just glitches into the ground all the time and it makes for a slower drag and you're way better off doing it this way so you want to hold handbrake fully in you want to hold acceleration fully in just like all the other drags we've done beforehand but now when we let go of handbrake we're going to put throttle all the way back to around 20 percent and that way your car will not wheelie and whack off the wheelie bar it will just slowly glide to it once you see your car lift off and it's doing a wheelie you want to slowly put the throttle in. So around three to four seconds, you want to start from 20% to go all the way to 100% throttle. It's a very linear process. And yes, you still are scraping off the wheelie bar, but you're using it more as a support now. And then the car gets so much more grip and it's way faster, as you saw by the side by side at the start. Now, there are vehicles with nitrous. I don't know why Rockstar don't just bring it out for a lot of cars in the game. But yeah, only a few cars that have nitrous, which are apocalypse vehicles and muscle cars can do this next step. Imperator and the Impaler are the two cars I recommend. And you know, you don't need to put that crazy modifications on it. You can just make it look stock like mine. But anyway, you can incorporate a crazy high speed wheelie if you add in nitrous which adds an extension to your wheelie and speed. It's just very satisfying. I have my own theories on why they 
don't have nitrous on all cars and like the stance option i think gta 6 is going to have those options for all cars so they don't want them so they want to put a big barrier between gta 5 and gta 6 online but anyway with the imperator and a lot of cars that are kind of lifted or don't have their rear bumper to the ground you'll have to be very careful with the throttle so same thing hold handbrake hold acceleration for the in but if you see when i let go of handbrake I go to around 40%, 50% throttle, but I hold it for around two, three seconds before I then full accelerate. Then you can get a way better wheelie. And that's how it is with cars like the Imperator. They're a bit too powerful and will just smack off the floor. But incorporating the nitrous, when do you do that? Well, you can see the car whilst you're driving or whilst you're still wheeling. You'll see the car or you'll feel the car losing power. As soon as you see the car dip down a slight bit, then nitrous, and then you'll see it go back into a fully formating wheelie. And it's so satisfying to do. You know, this car has uh, so many functions. It's crazy. Okay, this one is so difficult. I don't even know why I'm teaching you. I can do it quite easily now, but it is very difficult to do. It's gonna take some time and dedication. But this is certainly the best one and yeah, it's a rolling wheelie as you can see from the video now doing this on the street is a different story It's a lot harder because of the road But it's a lot cooler as well because you can turn a corner and then wheelie whilst you're still rolling But anyway, let's get into explaining this one because there's not that many buttons to press But you'll see why it's difficult. So first of all, you're gonna want to hold R1 and R2 like every other wheelie method on this list. But when you start wheeling, you want to let go of throttle, tap R1 and then fully throttle again. And that's not where it stopped. You'll hear the car stall and go back down to the floor. It will start rolling like it shows in the video. And it doesn't end there. Once you see it lift back up again, you're gonna want to let off the throttle for a quick second or millisecond and then get back on the throttle again. Because if you don't, then it will hit bounce back off the floor and go to and go back down. So yeah, it's very difficult. But if you keep looking repeatedly at my controller, you'll see what I do. So do a wheelie, tap R1, then go acceleration again. And then as soon as it lifts up, let go of acceleration, go back on it. It's a sequence. It's definitely a sequence. And I don't blame you for not even wanting to try this. But once you do, I, I think this is the most skilled wheelie you can do. That Yeah, it takes a lot of skill. Okay, this one is not going to help you in any way. It's probably going to raise questions about your sanity. Uh, yeah, it's just how to do this stupid, I don't know, fidgety, glitchy wheelie. If you time it perfectly and you're not commentating and focusing on your commentary like me, you can do this forever. It does take a sequence. You could also rock back and forward as well. So full acceleration, full handbrake, and then you just literally let go of the handbrake, keep your acceleration on full and spam R1. And then finally, you'll probably find the perfect sequence of spamming R1. So you just spam handbrake, spam handbrake, spam handbrake. And you'll probably find the perfect pattern to make it hover forever if that's what you want to do. And yeah, your friends are probably going to ask you how you did it. My car's not inspired by the Exorcist, but it might as well be. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. And see you in the next one.